welcome dear students to this program today we are going to discuss from class 9 mathematics book chapter 12 heron's formula this is part 3 here we will discuss some more problems on heron's formula you see what is heron's formula let us let us recall it heron's formula says area of triangle is square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c what is s s is the semi perimeter of the triangle that means it is half of a plus b plus c where a and b and c are the length of the sides of the triangle let's see here is the question A rhombus-shaped field has green grass for 18 cows to graze. If size of the rhombus is 30 meter and its longer diagonal is 48 meter, how much area of grass field will each cow be getting? You see, let's draw the rhombus. say a b c d each equal side is 30 meter and the longer side b d is 48 meter here this diagonal divides the rhombus into two equal halves equal triangles so we can if we can find the area of one triangle then by multiplying that area into 2 we can get the area of this rhombus let's consider triangle abd here if we assign the sides as a b and c so we can write a equal to 30 b equal to 30 and c equal to 48 this is all these are in meters so what is the semi perimeter s is equal to 30 plus 30 plus 48 divided by 2 that gives 108 by 2 that is 54 meter now what is the area of the triangle the area of triangle is area of the triangle is equal to square root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c which is equal to now let's substitute the value of this s a b and c that is 54 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 48 this gives 54 into 54 minus 30 gives 24 again 24 and 54 minus 48 gives 6 now see this 54 can be written as 3 into 3 into 6 as here one 6 is there we can take this as 6 then 24 into 24 into 6 now by taking for a pair of numbers we can take one for square root so in place of two threes we can take one three in place of two six we can take one six and also we can have 24 so product of this gives 432 meter square so this is the 
area of the one triangle. So, what is the area of the rhombus? So, area of the rhombus is equal to 2 into area of the triangle. That means 2 into 432 thus that gives 864 meter square. So, now the field is of area 864 meter square and in this field 18 cows are grazing. So, for 18 cows area of grazing is 864 meter square. So, what is the area each cow will get? So, each cow will graze in 864 divided by 18 that gives 48 meter square. That means, out of those 18 cows, we have only for each cow, we have 48 meter square for gauging. Let us have another question. This question says, an umbrella is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of cloth of two different colors. Each piece measuring 20 centimeter, 50 centimeter and 50 centimeter. That means, these three sides of the triangle are 20 centimeter, 50 centimeter and 50 centimeter. How much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella? So, let us see. We have 10 pieces of colored cloths. That means, that is that are of two colors. So, each color are of five pieces. So, we need to find the area of these five pieces. So, this is the dimension of the cloth 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter, and here it is 20 centimeter. In this figure, we have three sides of a triangle. So, we, to find the area, we can apply the Heron's formula. In this case, say A equal to 50 centimeter, B equal to 50 centimeter and C equal to 20 centimeter. Then, what is S? S equal to 50 plus 50 plus 20 by 2 that gives 100 20 by 2 that is 60 centimeter. So, what is the area? Area of the triangle is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C that is square root of 60 into 60 minus 50 into 60 minus 50 into 60 minus 20. So, from this we get square root of 60 into 60 minus 50 that is 10 into 10 into 60 minus 20 that is 40. So, as we have multiples of 10 here, so we can write like this 
60 can be written as 10 into 6 then 10 into 10 and 40 can be written as 10 into 2 into 2. So, for taking the square root, we can take 10 into 10 into 2 into root 6, which is equal to 200 into and approximate value of root 6 is 2.45. So, we can take this is as 490 centimeter square. So, area of each one, each piece is 490 centimeter square. So, area of cloths of each color is equal to this 490 and each color are of 5 pieces. So, 490 into 5 that gives 200, 2450 centimeter square. Thus, we can find the value of the area of the cloth or how much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella. Now, let us have another question. See, we have a design here, a floral design. In this given figure, each triangular shape has dimension 28 centimeter, 9 centimeter and 35 centimeter. Find the area of the floral design. Let us see, the design is, design of each triangle is like this, where this one is of 35 centimeter this is of 9 centimeter and this part is of 28 centimeter so this completes the floral design one petal of the floral design now see we, if we can find the area of this triangle by multiplying with 2 we can get the area of this petal now you see let's name it at abc in triangle abc small a is equal to 35 centimeter b is equal to 9 centimeter and c equal to 28 centimeter then what is the semi perimeter of the triangle that means s is equal to 35 plus 9 plus 28 by 2 that gives this is 72 by 2 that is 36. Now we can apply the Heron's formula to find the area of this triangle. So area of triangle ABC is equal to square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Now, if we apply the values here, we have 36 into 36 minus 35 into 36 minus 9 into 36 minus 28. You see, this is equal to square root of 36 into 1 into 36 minus 9 gives 27 and 36 minus 28 gives 8. This is equal to square root of 36 can be written as 6 into 6 and 27 can be written as 3 into 3 into 3 and 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. From this, we can have 1, 6, 1, 3, 1, 2 and rest is 
1 3 and 1 2 will remain so we can take as root 6 this is equal to 36 into in place of root 6 we can substitute the approximate value of it that is 2.45 that gives 88.2 this much centimeter square now we have two such triangles so area of each petal is equal to 88.2 into 2 that is 176.4 centimeter square and in our question we have 8 petals so area of floral design is equal to 176.4 into 8 that gives 1411.2 centimeter square. So, the area of the floral design is 1411.2 centimeter squares. The students, let us have another question. This question says two sides of a quadrilateral are 15 centimeter and 8 centimeter respectively. Angle between these two sides is 90 degree. If length of the other two sides are 17 centimeter, find the area of the quadrilateral. See, in this quadrilateral, we have two sides perpendicular to each other and two other sides which are equal in length. So, we can say A, B, C, D out of which the sides A, B and B, C are of 15 centimeter and of 8 centimeter and other two equal sides are of 17 centimeter. Now, if we join A, C, we have a right angle triangle so, out of this right angle triangle, we can find the area, we can find the hypotenuse that is AC. AC is equal to square root of AB square plus BC square. That gives square root of 15 square plus 8 square. That means 15 square is 225 and 8 square is 64. This gives square root of 289, which is equal to 17, 17 centimeter. So, we can write a C as 17 centimeter. Now, this quadrilateral is divided into two parts. One is uh, of tri a triangle with each side at 17 centimeter. So, we can say triangle. A D C is equilateral triangle. As each side is known, we can apply the Heron's formula, but as we know this is an equilateral triangle, we can directly put the formula to find the area of equilateral triangle. That is area of triangle ADC is equal to root 3 by 4 into each side area of uh, square of each side that is 17 square. This gives root 3 by 4 in place of root 3 we can write 1.73 by 4 and 17 square is 289 this gives the value as 125.14 centimeter square. And what is the area of triangle ABC? 
here also as all the three sides are known we can apply heron's formula but as this is a right angle triangle and ab and bc are the uh, adjacent sides to the right angle we can put the formula half base into height that is area of triangle abc is equal to half into bc into ab that is 1 by 2 into 8 into BC, ab is 15 that gives 60 centimeter square so area of collateral is area of collateral is 125.14 cm square plus 60 cm square that gives 185.14 cm square thus the area of this collateral is 185.14 cm square let's have another question this question says the length of two parallel lines of a trapezium are 54 cm and 30 cm respectively and length of each of the non parallel lines is 20 cm find the area of the trapezium let's have the trapezium a b c d where a b and c d are equal that is of 20 centimeter and a d the parallel lines are of dimension 30 centimeter and this is 54 centimeter b c is 54 centimeter let us draw a line through d which is parallel to a b a b is parallel to say d e now in a d e b a d is parallel to b e and a b is parallel to d e that means a d e b is a parallelogram if a d e b is a parallelogram this shows that a b is equal to d e is equal to 20 centimeter and a d is equal to b e is equal to 30 centimeter if b e is 30 centimeter then what is e c e c is equal to b c minus b e that gives 54 minus 30 that is 24 centimeter so we have e c as 24 centimeter and d e as 20 centimeter now let us find the area of this triangle so for triangle d e c a equal to 20 b equal to 20 and c equal to 24 all these are in centimeters so what is s what is s that is semi perimeter semi perimeter is equal to this 20 plus 20 plus 24 by 2 that is 64 by 2 gives 32 then what is the area of triangle DEC area of triangle DEC is equal to square root of S into S minus A that means 32 minus 20 
into S minus B that is 32 minus 20 and C, S minus C that is 32 minus 24. This gives square root of 32 into 12 into 12 and here it is 8. Now, as here it is 32 and 8 is there, so we can split this as 2 into 2 into 8. Then we have 12 into 12 and into 8. So by taking 1, 2 for 2 twos, we have 2. Similarly, we have 1, 8 and we have 1, 12. And this gives the value 192 centimeter square. So area of this triangle DEC is 192. To find the area of the trapezium, we need the height of the trapezium that is same as the height of the triangle. So we can say that is area of triangle DEC is equal to say if this height is say df that is h we can write half into height into base is 24 and this area is same as 192 this gives height is equal to 192 into 2 by 24 that gives 16 so height is 16 centimeter as height is 16 centimeter let's see the area of trapezium is equal to half into height that is 16 into sum of the parallel sides and sum of the parallel sides we can write 3 plus 54 that is equal to this gives 8 so 8 into 84 is equal to 672 centimeter square so area of this trapezium is 672 centimeter here also to find the height of the trapezium we use the area formula of the triangle so the heron formula is used here dear students today we discussed about the application of heron's formula how to find the area of the trapezium to get the height of the trapezium we used the heron's formula and also to solve some more problems we used heron formula so the formula heron formula is to find the area of the triangle when three sides are given today we close here thank you